it almost cost me my marriage. It almost cost me my relationship with my kids. It cost me some friendships. And I didn't see it coming and I was miserable inside. Hey, this is David. Let's take a walk together. Just about five minutes away from where I live. And the reason I decided to do this here is that the, the video is very different. But it's an important one. And I think it's really going to resonate with you as a guitar player, as it resonated with me. I came to a profound realization in my life and it could be applied to guitar as well. Guitar Playback is the business, uh, my business, in which I sell my guitar courses and content. And it started about 12 years ago. The early days were very, very slow. And about eight years in, something happened. I changed a little bit of my strategy. In one month, I doubled the income from the previous month. I thought, oh, man, that's great, that's awesome. After six months of continuously growing the business, I reached a point where I was making more in a month than I used to make in a year. And my decisions were heavily influenced by the income. And it's a trap that I thought I would never fall into, but I did. And it got to the point where I was obsessed with what we call financial success and worldly success. And I, was really suffering from that. My family was suffering from that. It almost cost me my marriage. It almost cost me my relationship with my kids. It cost me some friendships. And I didn't see it coming and I was miserable inside. My wallet was full, but my heart and my soul felt very empty. So the best illustration I can give you is that I was approaching my business like a staircase. Each step of the staircase was a, was a month and I had to keep going. So if one month, one step was, we'll make things round $10,000, the following month I had to work more because I had to go to the next step, which means that I had to beat that month. And if you think about it, if your best month has to be beat the following month, that's a very hard life to, to live. Not only that, but I was also seeing myself as a failure if I didn't beat the previous month. Not only that, I also realized that there's a lot of entrepreneurs, business people who are on that same exact staircase, which means that I was not only in competition with myself, but also with those other people on the staircase. Thankfully, something happened about five months ago. My studio got flooded. Thank God, no gear got damaged, but I couldn't work anymore. I was very limited in the things that I could do, and that lasted about a couple months. When the studio got back together, I had two choices. I could go back on that staircase, which never ends, by the way, or I could just not get back on the staircase at all. That's what I did. And I'm so glad I did because like I said before, if I hadn't, I think today I'd be a very depressed man. Hey, really quick, I'm editing the video you're watching right now in my office. Thanks to today's video sponsor, which is Video Pro C Vlogger. It's a free video editing program from Mac and PC. Cut, slice, add effects, text, resize, export. It's very easy to use, very intuitive. And the manual is actually very well written for once. Video Pro C Vlogger is particularly useful for vlog videos, just like the one you're watching now, which are oftentimes shot without tons of production on the go. And you can just go somewhere, make your vlog, edit right where you are and upload it to YouTube very, very quickly. I highly recommend it. Check out the link below. It's completely free. And for now, let's get back to the park. Uh, I think I found the perfect spot right under this tree here. See, this is not something I would have done a few months ago. Just take off in the afternoon, go to the park and just enjoy playing with no other agenda, but enjoying the weather and the guitar. And that's something that I learned with that story, with the ascent and the decline, which really that decline ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me. 
All right, so how does that uh, apply to our instrument? Well, it applies because I think most players are on that staircase. See, that staircase doesn't just happen with financial success, it happens with anything. There is this tendency to step on that infinite staircase because it is infinite. There is no way out. If you keep climbing, there's always another step. And the same happens with guitar, and I see this all the time. It kind of creeps in to my own life, to my friends' lives, and, and all of that. And the idea is that when you are on that, st uh, that uh, step, you're looking at other players, trying to compete with them, trying to go higher and higher and higher. And I stopped doing that in my ability to play too. And so now I just try to really enjoy the moment. And how do you do that? Well, you stop caring about your level per se. You're just trying to, to reach the next one over and over. And that's the main idea. If you're watching this channel, if you've been following for a while, you're probably watching some guitar lessons, trying to get better, and that's okay. But it's more of the mentality behind it. Who are you trying to beat, if anyone? If no one, great, you don't need this video, but if you're trying to beat him or get it better than him, well, you've got it wrong. The game is not a level game. It's not even competing with yourself. I think I came to the realization that music and guitar is a gift to be enjoyed by you, the musician, the listeners, and that's it, that's it. If you could do that, if you could be happy by doing that, you will progress, but it's gonna be a healthy progression. And that's what I would love for you to experiment, just like I experimented in the last few years, and I feel so happy now doing that. And that's what allows me to come to the park and just play and not worry about getting better or anything like that. I'm enjoying the instrument more, and by doing that, I'm getting better. All right, I hope you enjoyed this walk with me. I'm gonna continue playing a little bit here for fun, and I'll be back with more videos. Thanks for watching this. Practice not well, don't practice well. Enjoy the practice. I'll see you next time.